Hi y'all, I recently finished reading Going Vintage by Lindsay Lovett and I loved it. I loved it a lot. It's one that I had had my eye on for a little while because I mean, look at that cover. It just looks so fun. But I hadn't read it yet, obviously. Um, but recently Lindsay Lovett came to a library near me and did this little meet the author thing and ask questions and whatever. And I wasn't able to go because of my work schedule. And at the time it wasn't a huge deal. I had wanted to, but it wasn't a big deal because I hadn't read anything by her. But then I read this and I am so disappointed that I had to go to work because this book was so much fun and so real and honest and entertaining and relatable. And it was great. And so I wish that I had been able to go and actually hear this author. Um, but oh well, now I know, I don't even know what I now know. I just know that I'm bummed, I guess. Anyway, so in Going Vintage, it's the story of a girl named Mallory. And right off the bat at the beginning of the novel, Mallory and her boyfriend, Jeremy, break up. They had been dating for over a year, so this is a big deal. She's in high school. Mallory is headed into her junior year, or is in her junior year, I'm sorry. And she kind of is lost without Jeremy by her side. But her father, Mallory's father, is in the antique business. He collects things and then resells them, and he's very good at it. And Mallory has kind of become involved in this as well. She helps him out a lot. And they are going through her grandmother's things because her grandmother has moved into retirement into a retirement community. And as they're going through her stuff, Mallory finds a list in the attic of things that her grandmother wanted to do when she was a junior in high school. Things like sew her own homecoming dress and start a, and be in pep club and stuff like that. And so Mallory decides that this list is now her list and she is going to do all those things to help her connect with simpler times when she thinks that high school was more easy than it is now and also to help her get over Jeremy. So Mallory has this great little sister named Ginny who is hilarious. She gave the book a lot of spice um, and her parents are typical parents. She has drama with her mom. Her dad is, her dad's a typical dad. Like they're just, it's a real family. Lindsay Lovett nailed it. They're real and they're relatable and it's all true. And every family is kind of like this family, I feel like. Um, but so as Mallory goes through this list, she learns a ton about herself um, and she learns some about classmates and she learns a lot about relationships. So this book was a lot of fun. Sometimes it was really fluffy. Other times it was deep. It was entertaining. Um, it was, I laughed multiple times and I could relate quite often. Um, but like I said, it's a lot about relationships because obviously she's just broken up. She's got parents and they are very into PDA, but also they fight a lot. And so that's part of the thread of the story as well is Mallory kind of understanding her parents' relationship. Um, but at one point, near, obviously at the end of the book, look where I'm looking, I won't, ruin anything for you by reading this bit but Mallory's the narrator it's in first person and she's talking about her parents relationship she goes their relationship isn't perfect in a lot of ways but it's something real and real should probably be the goal not perfection every relationship is flawed you just have to figure out how to make it work keep trying and I really liked that um I have been married for under a year we're slightly over eight months and being married is awesome. <laughs> I highly recommend it. But at the same time, just like she says, every relationship is flawed. No matter if you're dating, engaged, married, or somewhere in between, it's gonna be rough. There's n There will be perfect moments, but the whole thing isn't perfect. Um, and I think that sometimes people view marriage as like, oh, happily ever after, check, I'm good to go. And that's not what it's like. Um, so I love that in this, Mallory, she's obviously just dating, she's in high school, but she can recognize that relationships are going to be flawed, that it's not Cinderella Prince charming, everything's perfect. Um, things can be tough. And I love that that's something she learns in this book because that is so very real. And I think sometimes I was blessed to have parents who never had big, loud, shouting, fighting matches, of course, their relationship isn't perfect. They had squabbles and whatever, but they never like yelled and screamed at each other. And that was a huge blessing for me. I'm very lucky in that way I've learned. Um, but just like I said, even though they didn't do that, their relationship isn't perfect. Um, 
but I was lucky to see a healthy one because even if they didn't agree on something, my parents knew how to talk about things and how to discuss them without arguing and to try to step back and see each other's point of views. And that is what relationships are about, is working together, learning together, growing together, trying to be a better person and encouraging your significant other to be a better person as well. Um, in this case, Mallory's relationship with Jeremy that falls apart at the very beginning of the book was not great. She learns that she wasn't really herself. Um, she fe realizes that she doesn't have a thing, like she's not in band, she's not a cheerleader, she isn't a great baker, you know, whatever. She doesn't have a thing. Um, she was just kind of always Jeremy's girlfriend. And so she's got to kind of figure out who she is. And I think that's, again, back to relationships, that's something important about relationships. You have to still be your own person and then they're their own person and you bring those two people together and work together to make this great thing in your relationship. Um, it's not about, obviously it, it's about giving and it's also about sacrifice and whatever. Um, but it's not like, oh, well now that I'm with this person, and I love to sing, I just can't sing anymore because they have this other talent. No, 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 there's a balance. You keep your talents, they keep their talents together. You make new things and new um, new traditions and whatever. You, It's all meshing, communication and meshing. And she learns a lot about communication in this book, a lot. Because obviously we're in the age of like cell phones and texting and Facebook, social media everywhere. And when Mallory does this list, going vintage she gives up her technology she doesn't use her cell phone she doesn't use her laptop she learns about old school communication actually talking on the phone not just texting it out and talking face to face and i think that was kind of cool to look at as well just the difference um this book was published i want to make sure i get the right one published in 2013 so that was only like three -ish years ago so a few things have changed a little bit snapchat wasn't as big um <laughs> but it's still very real. Um, and even though in this book she uses pop, I shouldn't say pop culture things. She uses current things. Texting, Facebook is a thing in here. She doesn't call it Facebook. She makes up her own name for it. Um, but it's the equivalent of Facebook. And so even though those are all real, I also feel like cell phones and social media are things that are going to stay long enough that that didn't terribly date this book. Um, and since it is about being vintage and going old school, that helped it not be as dated as well, I think. Just go back to something that's already gone, already lost. Um, but yeah, basically, this was a lot of fun and it had some great, great moments. And like I said, very relatable, very real. It was, it was great. I really, really enjoyed it. And I'm excited to read other books by Lindsay Levitt because she's got, she's got quite a few out there. Um, apparently she's well known for the, sh for Sean Griswold's head. I've never read that. I haven't actually even heard of that one, but that's apparently what she's known for because it's on her little blurb. Anyway, I do recommend this book. It was really fun, really happy. Overall, it's just a happy book, which I enjoy. Um, so yeah, keep reading. Enjoy Lindsay Levitt. Hopefully if she ever comes to a library near you, you will not have to work and you can go. Let me know how it was if you ever do. Anyway, keep reading. Bye.